Hey guys, it's Michelle and today I'm going to be making chicken curry in the instant pot and I have all my ingredients out already so let's just get started. Start out by setting this on to saute. Here are all my ingredients. I'm going to be using two pounds of chicken, two sweet potatoes, some green beans and that's just peppers and onions and this is a mixture that I have already of a mixed spice blend with turmeric ginger and curry some chicken broth and some salt also going to need some oil so I'm gonna use olive oil okay the first step is just to get your garlic in here And it's about six cloves of garlic. I have a really large garlic, so I'm doing five. Okay, here's all my onions and my garlic. And we're just gonna saute these until they're translucent. Okay, and while that's sauteing, we're just going to chop up our sweet potatoes. Okay, now we're going to chop two chicken breasts. So we're just browning the chicken in the instant pot. It smells really good, guys. Here's one cup of diced peppers. You can use red. I already had some chopped, two sweet potatoes or about four cups. Okay, and then we're gonna add four cups of green beans. One and a half cups of chicken broth. About a quarter cup of seasonings. Teaspoon of salt. Just go give this a good mix. Smells so good. Okay, now we're gonna put the lid on. I get it right. Make sure it's on seal. Okay, we're going to set this to manual and 12 minutes. And I'm going to turn this off for now and release the steam. We are going to open the instant pot. The recipe calls for two 14 ounce cans of coconut milk, but I don't have that. I only have, I think this is 5.6 ounces. Ah, sorry, 5.4 ounces. So I'm going to substitute um, chicken broth for the liquid part of the coconut milk and add my coconut cream. We're going to put this to simmer, so saute mode. Okay, so we're just going to let this incorporate really well. I mixed in two tablespoons of water to one tablespoon of arrowroot, and I'm just going to dump that in as soon as we get a simmer here. And that's optional. It's only if you want to thicken up your soup. Okay, so it's simmering, and I'm going to put in my arrowroot and water. It's 
So I added another um, tablespoon of arrowroot with two tablespoons of water. So I did a taste test and it's really good. It does need a little bit more salt and I like it spicy. So I'm going to add about a quarter of a teaspoon of cayenne pepper. And it's really good. I would totally recommend you make this recipe. I'm going to give the kids white rice and I'm going to have some um, cauliflower rice. I hope you all enjoyed this recipe. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I hope you'll subscribe and stick around. And if you're a returning subscriber, thanks for coming back. I'll talk to you all later. Take care.